Hello everyone, welcome back. And I was getting an error. Like, let me show you quickly. That's this. Uh, the thing is, when I'm going to create a role, okay, let's say that R1 role I just created, and let's say I'm just going to create a role, let's say X mean or something called, let's say Python, okay, Python developer. So that's the role which I want to create. What I want to show you, you may face this issue, okay. Just hit next, next. That's a default role I'm. I'm just gonna create. And before hitting submit button, I had open the diagonal log, okay, of SOA server because SOA is creating the issue, right? So, okay, let's come back and try to hit finish. As soon as I try to hit finish log started reading and id 3004 is generated let me quickly go to the self-service console and by default the behavior of your oim system is since you are an admin you will get this request as a pending okay so let me open 3004 here 3004 okay and if this issue will occur guys i give you like guarantee you will put your head here and there and it's not gonna resolve until you will not read the error message carefully so that's the log which is generated as you can see it's directly failed it's not going to approval says i am a sysadmin i am raising a request it should come to my approval and i will approve it that's the default property of oim but the thing is it's not doing so let me show you where the error occur let me just quickly go to the top where i started the logs and uh, yes so here you can see the security token can't be authenticated what's the issue what's the issue let me open paint and let me try to make you understand what the problem is let's say this is your oim okay this is your oim here the request of workflow also come into the picture okay in oim you are an admin okay so you are an admin, let's say Jill CCDM, and you are raising a request for the role. Okay. So what happens whenever you raising a request for a role, immediately what happens? A SOA composite. Okay. First of all, workflow rule is called. That's the step. So first of all, whenever you raise the request, what you are doing? You are raising a request, right? Raise request. So whenever you raise the request, immediately it will go for your engine request engine okay so it will immediately go for your request engine let me write it request engine now from the request engine the respective workflow rule is called okay it will call some workflow rule okay it will call some workflow rule and the respective workflow rule gonna hit a respective SOA composite so SOA composite at the end of the story is the main thing. Okay. So that's SOA composite. SOA composite. Okay. So what happens? SOA composite is the, is the place which we can see is having the logic. Okay. Bundled here means to whom I can assign the request based on the type of request. Okay. So whenever you request since here my zilsys admin is requesting for a role right he just want to create one role that's a request so based on that to create a role what is the workflow rule let's say r1 wr1 workflow let's say wf1 is the rule or wfr1 workflow rule one is related to create that role okay i am requesting a role let's say python developer as you've seen so respective SOA composite will call and SOA composite okay SOA composite will see who is the approver user for this role okay so let's say approver user itself jilsys admin so SOA composite will try to reach the jilsys admin but here the problem is since whenever you are using oim in your virtual machine or maybe it password is expired and maybe you log into the oim after a long time for example and you change the password the password is not updated in the key store let's say the oracle 123 is the current password and the older password was let's say oracle one only let's say that was the older password so jilsys admin try to 
okay this work compose i try to give him the same thing with oracle 1 and the credential is not correct that's why he is not able to reach so that's why he is popping up the error message the security token or the security token can't be authenticated means the token okay which you are given here that is not able to authenticate here so how to fix that issue okay that's a complete composite related issue so let me come over here and let me try to show you over here so here you can see just log into the em console okay in the em console look for the weblogic domain im domain okay and here just go for the security and in the security just go for the credential here you will see in the wsm security n number of credential are there out of which oim admin is there just edit it so that's the jilsys adm credential means my admin credential is oracle 123 now but here it still is right now it's still it's stored oracle 1 so what i will do i will simply change it to oracle 123 oracle 123 i updated updated the new credential new credentials to oracle 123 i will just give a message to understand myself in the future and i will hit the update now the credential are stored now the point is clear right now it's tried to authenticate back now this authentication should done let us come back here let us come back and try to create the role back okay so i am i will just go here create on the role again i will create python developer python developer and here i will just do next next and finish but before doing so what i will do i will close it i will clear it and i will simply start the logs so that's a place where it was hitting the error so before doing the finish i will just hit my log so jilsys adm right as you can see now i will hit my log let's come back and just try it so i am just hitting my log as you can see the log has been hit it and 3005 right 3005 just go to the self service okay and right now i can't see any such error okay you can see there is no such error with that same message just come over here in the self service console and just search for the 3005 rather it failed now it will show for pending for approval if i will go to the self service console right now i will see myself i am having this to be approved okay so as you can see here i will just get pending approval and i have to approve but before approving i will show you something let's come back to the uh, 3000 uh, what it was 3002 one of the role which got failed and meanwhile i will show you right now it's 3005 right and the failed was 3004 just a moment back just go over here and try to figure out the error message just click on the error message that's the same thing in the log so just come over here just try to expand this error message and here you can see the security token can't be authenticated so that's the error message that you have to make very much sure before doing this okay so this is the error message which we were getting okay and we had fixed it out right now there is no such error message okay let me do one thing let me go back and let me copy this error message for me okay just copy it back that's the error message let me use sniping tool and here we go i just copied this error message okay i just copied this error message for me for this future reference so this is how we fix now just come back here just go to the pending approvals now here you can just simply select it and action and approve it so it's approved just come back to 3005 it was not 4 it was 5 right 4 was the failed 4 was the failed just go to the 5 3005 and just hit enter 
<clears throat> yes, request is completed. Let's go to the rule tab and see whether the Python developer rule is created or not. As you can see, the rule is created. So this is how guys we fix this one that's very important okay just try to hit the sua compose side from the em console okay slash em you just log in there and just try to update the credential store that's very important okay that's the credential store of oim okay so there you should go and try to update it oim admin and also this will help you to change your Jilsys IDM password, okay, if you forgot the Jilsys IDM password, just log in here and from there itself you can change the Jilsys IDM password. So thank you so much. Let's connect it and I will give you more updates on this OIM. Thank you and bye-bye.